What's your battle plan? Time to get down to business. Thank <laughs> you. 
tears of the storm. Think you can bully me? Shudder. Vengeance will be mine. blocking the way ahead. Uh, surely I won't need to personally make an appearance. Um, uh, <laughs> I mean, I did read your report. It's just... Okay, perhaps they do look a little tough, yes, but mostly I'm just not feeling up to fighting today. Uh, no, <laughs> of course I'm not afraid of them. <laughs> Fine. Fine. If you insist on performing as a duo, then I shall indulge you. expecting to see weird and wonderful things in this place. But so far, zilch. <sighs> no funky-looking critters with antennae on their heads. No plants full of funky-smelling juice. Even the monsters here are all ones I've seen before. If this carries on, I guess I can forget about trying to find any new cocktail ingredients here. What will become of the wicked aristocracy after being ousted by the valiant knights? Will they flee into the dark woods while the nation rejoices, wallowing in self-pity? Or will they beg for mercy, only to skulk in some corner of the city, sharpening their knives? Fairy tales never answer these questions. They just assume that eternal peace is a given once the villains have been defeated. You youngsters need to make sure you're getting enough exercise. You don't want to be huffing and puffing while your elders are still going strong. What? This is a walk in the park compared to the field studies that Haravatot used to send us out. <sighs> Never mind. No point in dredging up the past. Go on, then. I suppose you ought to rest if you really are tired. I've seen too many junior scholars ruin their health for the sake of their academic pursuits. Let that be a cautionary tale. Those who fail to heed the advice of their elders do so at their own peril.
heartwarming song with a fairy tale theme but it's a little tough i think i need to go back to the storybooks and look for some more inspiration this is a nice little challenge isn't it back when i fell into the <sighs> books. Hmm, let's see here. Ha, <laughs> get a load of this one. This story is about a mercenary whose only skill is that he's an exceptional liar. He goes and gets himself hired by three different employers, all of which are mutual enemies. And so, he's forced to spin ever more ludicrous lies to keep himself alive and keep the moral rolling in. <laughs> you know what? I'll read on. This looks pretty fun. When storytellers tell tales pertaining to oneself, they often resort to slapdash stitchwork derived from decrepit documents, garnished with a glut of aggrandizement. Entertaining, to be sure. But do not believe everything you hear. Of course, if you wish to hear the truth, you need only ask me. Huh, in fact, one is suddenly reminded of an old tale. It begins with a gathering of the Adepti at Dreyunkar.
All right, let's head off. There are many reasons why a samurai might draw their blade, but the principle is always the same. To do what they know in their heart is right, though we walk a perilous path where powerful foes face us at every turn, and though I cannot sense what lies at its end, I tread onwards with no fear in my heart. My mind is at ease, for I tread this path in your company. A handful of my more experimental dishes have made it onto the Wanmin restaurant menu. In most cases, it's because I think the texture isn't quite right, or the flavor needs a lot more work. But that doesn't mean I'm about to give up. I know there are tasty dishes out there waiting to be discovered, and I'll find them sooner or later. Hero defeats dragon. Um, princess defeats dragon. Prince gets defeated by princess. Ugh. I thought I'd be able to find at least one story about mixology here. But nope. Just a bunch of fairy tales. Ooh, huh? Wait. Here's one. Hmm. Hero convinces dragon to defend kingdom by playing dragon with alcohol. Puh. What a load of baloney. Stories from other lands are something new and precious to me. I cherish the opportunity to read them during our rest time. I hope I can finish them. Look at all the wonderful printing and the beautiful illustrations. Oh, could we read some stories together? Only if you want, of course. There's a lot of interesting details I want to share with you. Thank you for permitting, no, inviting me to join.
Very good. I approve. You think it's too quiet here? I find it quite to my satisfaction. It is an ideal place to rest and enjoy a little leisure time. My only quibble is the sheer volume of books here. One can only imagine how long it would take to read them all. Hmm. I wonder if that novel I read once is available to borrow here. Not that I was especially fond of it. I just didn't finish reading it, so I've always wondered what happens after where I left off. I really hope it has a happy ending. Fighting monsters is nothing new to me, if anything. It is these brief periods of leisure between battles that I'm not accustomed to, no matter. If you need to rest, I will stay here with you until you are ready. This is woeful. I am Fontaine's biggest star. Where is the pomp and circumstance? Well, never mind. I suppose I could do with a short break. One has to replenish one's blood sugar to deliver an ideal performance after all. Pull the trigger. Didn't keep you waiting, did I?
There are many reasons why a samurai might, though we walk a perilous, my mind is Troubled. Are you worried about the enemies we will soon face? Ah, I see. Sorry, I should have noticed sooner. You asked me to join your team. It is only right that I share this burden with you. The Dandelion Knight's sword is at your command. Let us proceed. A squirrel? Uh-oh, I'm trying- I think... This story is about, and so he's forced. Yeah. 
I don't know if the thought of the battles ahead is troubling you, but if so, I do have one suggestion to make. We should make sure we're well rested before we proceed. We could find a safe spot to have an afternoon nap, for example. I... um... I always strive to do things perfectly, but so often I find that the harder I push myself, the more mistakes I end up making. You think it my only quip? I'm really curious to know what's at the end of this maze, too. And yes, I know that as we go further in, we're bound to meet tougher and tougher monsters, and maybe even suffer some setbacks along the way. But after the winds and rain have passed, the saplings in the forest grow a little bigger and a little stronger. We'll only get to see the blue sky above the treetops if we keep pressing on, right? There are real people and real events out there that are more incredible than anything you'll find in fiction. Shame no one will ever be allowed to write a book about it. Curious? What if I told you that the things I'm referring to, no one will ever be allowed to talk about either? <laughs> Okay, we can chat about something that isn't top secret information if you want, but we'll still have to go somewhere a little more private.
like spending time in places where there's nothing to do. It's like looking at a blank page in a book. But since you're here, maybe we can liven things up a little to make this time more meaningful. Like... Oh, we could share some stories with each other before we set off again. <laughs> Sometimes I worry that if I'm not careful... I might make a mistake that ends up putting you in even more danger. Once that thought enters my head, I start losing confidence in myself about the battles ahead. But I am determined to overcome my fears and focus on doing all I can when I'm fighting by your side. It's a rare treat for me, being able to read undisturbed in a quiet place like this on Watatsumi Island. As the Divine Priestess, every action I take is the subject of scrutiny and speculation. I have to show some restraint so that my personal preferences don't unduly influence everyone else. But here, I feel like I can relax a little. Um, you won't... Mind if I suddenly laugh out loud while I'm reading? Well when danger rose, they overcame their foes, onward forging to the journey's end. <laughs> My dear courageous traveler, if you will allow this humble bard to join you on your journey, it would be my honor to compose an epic poem to remember your deeds. I'm willing to bet a whole glass of apple cider that your story will be one for the ages. Wait to be a 
trees to the core. Crush. Shudder. Busted. Nice and spicy. Strike cloud converged. Game's up. Time's over. For mercy. Gotcha. Here comes the catch. Hey, Blood of frost. Crush. tired? I know a trick that works great. Imagine all the enemies you're facing as delicious and great with all that tender, delicious smelling food nearby. Doesn't it just give you a big burst of energy? Huh? Hard to imagine. Hmm, maybe it's just me then. The scoundrels who slink around in here are fools, all of them. To posture menacingly before mortals is one thing, but to persist even after witnessing one's adeptus arts? <sighs> it is sheer illiteracy in the face of manifestly legible writing on the wall. <laughs> These dullards would be no match even for one's two disciples, let alone one's son. Even if an enemy is strong enough to fend me off for today, that doesn't faze me. Sooner or later, they will get their comeuppance. My vengeance may not always be swift, but it is always final. In your case, though, I seriously doubt there are many enemies out there who have what it takes to send you away bearing a grudge. We've still got quite a few punishing battles ahead of us, don't we? 
If life gets too dull for too long, I start to feel numb inside. I need some excitement to make me feel alive. Why don't I roll the dice? If I like the numbers I roll, we'll keep going. Could be a fun way to liven things up around here. <laughs>